So my job and goal is to take the intimidation factor away from this theme framework. It's real out of fun if you start getting into how it thinks and what it expects from you. More importantly, get to know your options. Now, I mentioned this in some of my earlier videos in this series. Don't binge. Don't spend the next two hours watching videos. Watch videos for about a half, 20 minutes to a half hour, 45 minutes at the most, but then spend the next two hours experimenting, making mistakes. Mistakes are good. That's how we learn. So let's examine how this circle setup is done. So I have my filled background. I have my unfilled background color. I could have my size of my counter in pixels. Now, for those of you that are kind of new to this whole aspect of how big a pixel is, well, as an example, there is 72 pixels to an inch. Therefore, half inch is 36 pixels, half of that is 18, unless you, unless you, unless you slept through fourth grade math class. So that's just basic math, 72, 36, 18. So it's 18 points is equal to a quarter inch. So that gives you a reference on how big something is. So if I wanted something two inches wider, it would be two times 72, or do the math. Okay, show scales. Okay, let's do show scales. Yes, on that, just so you can see the difference. Countdown, yes. Animation speed. Now, this is in milliseconds. This is very important to understand. There's 1,000 milliseconds inside of a second. Most of your sliders are based on JavaScript. JavaScript and jQuery JavaScript uses milliseconds as a time delimiter or time executor. There's 1,000 milliseconds inside of a second. So if you want something to be on there for, say, uh, half a second, it would be 500 milliseconds. One and a half seconds, 1,500. 1, so let's make this 1,500 milliseconds, which would be 1.5 seconds. Let's save those changes. And if you scroll down here, okay, you're going to see how that works. So let's save the changes and go back into there. All right, so what I did here is so you didn't get confused. I changed this one to a different color so you can see how that countdown works. So if I refresh the page, you will see that I had that set up for 1.5 milliseconds. So if I scroll down here, you'll see that it terminates right there. And that's why the tick marks are on there because it's a countdown. So I'd probably want to do that longer. I probably would do that maybe in, uh, in 15 or 10 seconds. So how would I make that change? Well, let's go back into there. And that was the one that was purple, which was the first one. So let's come down here. Let's select our counter again. Let's click right here. Again, I made a purple just so you can see the difference here. And for the countdown, uh, countdown, I want to make that, uh, let's make that uh, 10 seconds. So that would be 10, 10 and a half seconds. That would be 10,500 milliseconds. Again, 1,000 milliseconds inside of a second. Let's update those changes. And let's refresh the page. Again, part of the reason that's not working visually because I have that set up for 1.5 seconds. So now I'll get more bang for my buck here. If I refresh that and I come down here, so now it's just going to count down. All right, maybe it's not counting down because I didn't update the changes. Sometimes the updates take a little bit longer. All right, so now this should come down to, all right, that's still not working there. Let me just check that. Actually, one of the things I did forget to do, because this is a countdown, is the percentage of this that you want is to go from 1 to 100%. So we're going to have this go down to 1% which is the other way. Okay, and we're gonna save that. Let's just make this uh, slightly smaller so you can just see it's visually different. Let's make that 175 pixels, which is roughly two inches. Or actually more, a little bit more than two inches because there's 72 pixels to an inch. So now I preview changes. So if I scroll down here to the bottom, you will see. See, it, you kind of start having to think the way it thinks. And now it's going to count down. And that's just a visual thing. And it's going to count all the way down to 1%. And then the site's going to blow up anyway. So this just gives you a kind of an understanding how to work with your different elements inside the Yabanda theme. So in our next video, we'll explore some more features using the Yabanda theme.